Hello everybody, my name is Brian on Guard, and welcome back for another Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we got all the way to Celestic Town, got Surf, but unfortunately lost a good friend on the way, so uh, now we have, uh, instead of Olilot, the wonderful Lagracious, we have um, freaking Smoothie the Tropius on the team instead, which, you know, uh, we... We are now able to fly, which is pretty good. Um, well, we did have the ability to fly with uh, some other Pokemon, but now we have fly always on the team, which is actually pretty helpful, because, uh, you know, it's pretty annoying to uh, always have to, you know, go into the PC to fly and then put put it back into the PC and, you know, that, that whole rigmarole. Now, I did teach my Pokémon some different moves. Um, for example, here on Smoothie, you can see that I taught it Bullet Seed and Solar Beam, which, you know, is gonna be pretty good. Uh, Bullet Seed for whenever I can't be arsed to put a sunny day up, um, and, you know, Solar Beam for when I can be arsed to do that, because uh, it is definitely helpful, because the thing about uh, uh, having sunny day on uh, on a smoothie is the fact that uh, it also like it, it not only uh, boosts uh, you know well not boosts but it makes it so that it can use uh, friggin uh, Jesus solar beam but it also functions as you know an agility because uh, with using sunny day it doubles its speed so you know that's pretty helpful. Uh, now pretty much what I'm gonna do is just fly all over the place and uh, pick up everything we can pick up with uh, with Surf, because, you know, now that we have Surf, there's a lot of things we can pick up, you know, I, uh, all the way from, uh, you know, small stuff like over there with the Sunny Day and also the, the Lumberry. Well, the Lumberry was definitely something I was really looking forward to, because uh, I, already, I already did have the Tomato Berry uh, by, uh, actually just through happenstance, because uh, the the Berry Master is able to give it to you, so. But it didn't have the Lumberry. Oh, I would have actually really liked to give it Giga Drain, because Giga Drain is actually one of my favorite moves of all time, so <laughs> I would I would have really liked to give it to it, but... Uh, Eh, I, uh, I think I'm gonna abstain, because, you know, I already went through the whole rigmarole of getting uh, Sunny Day and Solar Beam on it, so now it's gonna have that. <laughs> um, I'm a little... Because the thing about Tropius that is kind of unfortunate is that, that it definitely has, a, you know, a four-move four slot syndrome in that, you know, it has so many moves that would have, like... If there ever was a Pokemon that could get, like, say, more than four moves on its moveset, Tropius would definitely be one of them. And there's, like, certain other Pokemon that, you know, would really love that. Because <laughs> um, there, there are... Oh, excuse me. Some Pokemon that, you know, can definitely cram enough into four moves that it doesn't really need another move. But then you have Tropius, which, you know... It definitely needs Sunny Day, and, you know, it, Solar Beam is very good on it, and, it, you know, uh, a flying attack is pretty much guaranteed. And then, you know, it, it also benefits from a, a physical grass attack, oh, instead of just not having just one of them. And, um, also there is, um... Uh, th there's a lot of, you know, other moves, like it could get Synthesis, which would be helpful, it could get, um, Silver Wind for, you know, coverage, and you know, Earthquake, and, you know, plenty of moves it could, plenty of moves it could get, and probably should get, but, uh, oh well. Uh, it, it's definitely stuck with the four moves that it's got, so. And also, um... One thing that I thought of was, um, yeah, because I I went over to you know Cerebi to check out uh, move sets and such, uh, to you know be able to um, ooh ooh wow, 
I'm really scatterbrained right now. I'm really sorry. Um, when in Serbi, check movesets. I have to, uh, realized that uh, Tropius actually has lower attack and special attack than Labunny has attack. Oh, that is that kind of sucks. Also, yeah, as you saw, Smoothie, its moveset is this. I already showed it, but I want to show it again just so that I have shown it. Um, Olivia, I gave it Surf because you know, well, you've all you, you've also already seen that. So, <laughs> uh, Rosser Hell is the same, but she now has the Stone Plate, which I got in the Underground. Spicy Meme, I gave Shadow Ball because you know it doesn't actually learn Shadow Ball naturally for some weird reason. Um, and the two others are, you know, just the same as they always were. Well, as they were when I last show you, showed you what they had, so. Thunderbolt, that goes on Spicy Meme, because it also doesn't get Thunderbolt, naturally. Um, it does get Discharge, which uh, would have been a good alternative to have previously. Uh, but now that we have access to Thunderbolt, there's really not too big of a reason to uh, give it discharge because you know uh, I, I would rather have um, I would rather have um, Thunderbolt and Thunder Wave instead of having discharge because um, discharge is um, like it is pretty good because it's only 10 power less than Thunderbolt because um, uh, since Thunderbolt has been updated is it is uh, 90 power and uh, uh, discharge is 80, so it's only a 10 power loss. Um, but it is a 10 power loss, which definitely isn't good. Uh, and then also, you know, it has a 30%, I believe, to uh, paralyze, but Thunder Wave has a 100% chance to paralyze, so I would rather have two focused moves instead of having, you know, one move that tries to do two things. Also, there is something we can capture here, which, you know, I'm pretty, you know, excited about, I suppose, because there are some interesting things here. I believe you can capture uh, Magnemite and also uh, Magmar. <laughs> Both beginning with Mag. That's fun. Ugh. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do Fuego Ironworks, because it, it takes, takes some time. But, uh... Eh, I suppose we do have to, since we're here, after all. Um, ooh! That's fun. Um, I'm actually planning on, after we've uh, gone around to the all the smaller areas around the, the world, I'm planning to... Because uh, there are two places where we can uh, surf um, that are, you know, filled with trainers. <laughs> There's... Um, uh, between the resort and Pastoria City, there is uh, a larger area of surfing space where, you know, there's not really a lot of items. There are some items there, uh, but for the most part, there's just, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of trainers. Hmm. No. Uh, I guess, again, first thing that pops into my head probably will be the thing that I name it. And, you know, Beatrice, yeah, after the the girl that's in uh, uh, Skyward Sword. You know, the, the item check girl. The, <laughs> the really disinterested girl. Ooh, ooh. I just remember that uh, most people in here have... Uh, fire type Pokemon, so uh, rocks, you're on. And let's give Smoody the... Ooh, ooh, also, I managed to snag a lucky egg from a Chansey. <laughs> I mean, I I think it was like the second Chansey I encountered after trying, which, you know, that is really... Like, for anybody that's tried this themselves, you know how long that can potentially take. <laughs> So it's, I was I, I I thought about it too because you know just encountering a Chansey is like five percent I believe and then you know the chance of that Chansey actually having the lucky egg is also five percent 
So, uh, you know, uh, I, I just told myself, you know, let's let's just try five chances, you know, because <laughs> recurring, recurring number. Let's just go for five. And I actually got it on the second one, so I'm pretty happy about that. It, it, it definitely made, made, uh, made uh, grinding a lot easier. <laughs> That's for diddly dang sure. Um, did I? Did I give Smoothie the XP share now? Wow. <laughs> I don't know why, but this specific episode, I, my mind has just been all over the... Yeah, okay, I did give it to Smoothie. Good. Don't know why that is, but it, all of a sudden my brain is just... <laughs> just... Goop. Well, I suppose not just my brain, but just my... Well, n not specifically my brain, but... Wow. Not my brain, but my concentration. There. Lord. Um, also, by the way, uh, I've, I took the liberty of giving... Um, I, th I think I talked about that, is that uh, I earned a lot of money and then I gave um, the team um, lots of carboses and uh, calciums and uh, proteins, depending on which one of them they use. Um... So all of them have at least 100 in their respective uh, EV category, except for um, for Smoothie, which you know is new to the team. So I, I didn't go ahead and give all of my Pokemon, you know, carboses and proteins and calciums, because that I I would not have enough money for that. That the the amount of money that would cost is just incredible. Because, you know, you would e either have to spend anywhere from 10, no, not 10, um, 20 to 30 uh, vitamins per Pokemon. Because some Pokemon, for example, like Rocks or Cal, only needs speed and attack. It doesn't need special attack, so it would only need 20 uh, vitamins, uh, aka 10 proteins and 10 uh, carboses. Uh, but then you have, like, for example, uh, uh, work bitch, which would benefit from uh, three different types of vitamins, so that's 30 vitamins. Um, and you know, just just 10 vitamins is like a hundred thousand polka dollars. So three, no, 30 would be, you know, uh, friggin' uh, 300,000 polka dollars. <laughs> that is uh, a little. Price expensivo, but I, I did manage to to get all of them for my precious little babies, <laughs> my precious little baboos. Also, I do believe uh, that after this, because I do believe you get one of every shard uh, just lying laying around in 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 this. Hello. Okay, sorry about that, but apparently my controller died this momentarily. I don't know what happened there. I, I believe there is some kind of issue with my uh, USB connections for some reason. I don't know why that is. I mean, my, my phone... My phone... My computer isn't that old. I thought. Actually, it is... It is one and a half years, so you know it's not that, it's not completely young, but you know it's definitely not old enough to be, should, that it should be having those kinds of problems. Have we picked up one of every shard by now? Because I'm not sure if there are any other items lying around now. Eh, probably. <laughs> oh lord. It's not like I'm really planning to get a lot of um, a lot of the tutor moves anyway, because there's not a lot of tutor moves I would want. I would actually. It would be fun to give uh, Rox or Kel a fire punch, actually, because that would. She would actually benefit from that. Hmm. I suppose. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Not too terribly sure. Because, like, cause the thing that you should do 
if you're thinking about giving your Pokemon a new move is, uh, well, unless it's uh, same type attack bonus, you know, uh, you, 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 you're definitely pretty safe by giving your Pokemon the same type attack bonus attack, like for example with Smoothie, giving it a grass and or a flying type attack is pretty safe. It is a safe bet that it's gonna be good, I should say. Um, but then, for example, with um, actually with Smoothie, well, actually, I should I should cover Rocks for Kel first because that was what I was what I was thinking about. Uh, Fire Punch, like, what is that super effective against? Like, okay, we have Grass types. But I would never actually leave Rox Raquel out against a grass type, because, you know, it's 4x weak to grass, so that's out of the question. Then you have um, Bug, which, you know, I, is a valid option, but, you know, I do have Rock Blast, you know, a rock type attack, so I wouldn't really need a fire type move then. Um. And then what else is fire super effective against ice? Again, not only would I not leave Rox or Kel out against an ice type, uh, but I also do have, again, Rock Blast to cover that. Um, and, gosh, I don't... What else? Let me think for half a second. Yeah, uh, the only other, because, yeah, Grass, Bug, uh, Ice, and then uh, Steel. Steel is the last one. There I have uh, Magnitude and Earthquake. There are, however, some Steel types that uh, levitate, specifically, um, you know, <laughs> um, Bronzor and Bronzon, but, you know, they, they wouldn't, you know, <laughs> stand up against Brox or Kel anyway, I suppose. Eh, I don't know. I suppose it would be helpful, but uh, th that's just the thing that I could either get. Oh fuck! I need a rock smash. I could either get you know fire punch on rocks or Kel and counter one specific family of Pokemon, or I could get another move tutor move that would really boost uh, the Pokemon that get that move. Actually, I can oh first of all, let's check out Pietras. Solid, solid. I, I like it, I like it. Let's put you balls over there, even though one of you isn't even a ball, but let's put the balls over there. Um, yeah, so like, for example, no, I don't have an example. Why did I say for example? <laughs> uh, yeah, it, w it would be better to save those um, shards for something else. Actually, while I'm thinking, let's look that up. Okay, yeah, there are specifically two options, which would be uh, definitely worth considering. Um, which is giving Infernape Thunder Punch, which, you know, that would actually be pretty good in considering... Um, well, no, no, that because that was the thing that I found out, that it's the same kind of deal as with... Uh, um, uh, G Golem... Rocks with Kel, that uh, it doesn't really cover a lot of stuff, especially that uh, a rock type move wouldn't cover, uh, for example, flying types. But um, you have a uh, Gyarados, which Thunder Punch would really do a number on. But then again, um, as I said, if if I have Rock Tomb and then later I give it Stone Edge, that would cover pretty much everything that I could think of uh, with that, but there is one thing that I definitely, I, like I'm actually just gonna go over there now and just do that, is um, give Olivia Ice Punch, which, you know, Blizzard, it's fine, but uh, that 70% accuracy is uh, really fucked. <laughs> Uh, also getting rid of uh, Aqua Jet, because, you know, there's really nothing that can outspeed Olivia, and even if they could, uh, you know, what the heck are they gonna do to it? 
So, uh, getting rid of uh, Aqua to, to just have one uh, water type move for now. <laughs> and um, also giving it a Brick Break there, because Brick Break is uh, a pretty good coverage move. And, uh, you know, that's about it, really. <laughs> um, so for now, I think what I'm gonna do is... Hmm. I think maybe I'm gonna do the ice punch thing between parts, or what I could do is just cut away to it, so... See you guys there. Okay, yeah, I would love to share my shards with you, dude. Let's give Olivia... Ice punch. Which I don't actually know how many shards that is, but uh, since we have at least seven with any, any with you know all the shards, then uh, that's uh, all we really need. Let's actually look and check it out. Ice punch. Oh, six blue shards. That is pretty hefty, but uh, we still have some of them. <laughs> Let's go up because I. Yeah, I mean, now we only have two blue shards, and blue shards is really the one you really want a lot of, because um, this guy is specifically uh, the blue shard move tutor. Um, like, he uh, wants... F usually, pretty much all of the moves that he teaches uh, needs at least four or six blue shards. And there was even one that needs... Uh, <laughs> Needs, uh, eight blue shards, but I think that's, like, Fury Cutter or something, so, pff, who cares? Um, and there's another, uh, move tutor that is, um, in, uh, Snow Point that takes either yellow or green shards. I don't remember which one, but, uh, he, he really does not have <laughs> a lot of useful moves, like, uh, he mostly has status moves, uh, and he, like he has status moves, but not even useful status moves. Like most of them are pretty, you know, not that useful. Uh, let's go from Errol and Crunch um, on Shells. Sure, um, but he has like synthesis and block and mostly a lot of stuff that most Pokemon would not find very useful. Um, but then there's another move tutor, because there are three move tutors, well, main move tutors in uh, Platinum. You have the blue shard guy, the yellow or green shard guy, and then you have the red shard guy, at which, you know, you can only get to him after you've uh, defeated the entire game, so that's kind of poopy. But uh, he... He has a lot of good moves. Like, he has, um... Like, he is the guy. He, the one you would actually want to farm shards for. Like, the guy before... Like, the one we just went to is, uh... Very good for, um... You know... He has the punches, which is really about it. Like, most of his other moves are, like... Moves that are kind of, like, fun to use, but are otherwise not that useful. Um, but the guy that is at the end of the game, like, oh my god, he has so many good moves. Like, he has, you know, like, Outrage, and Earth Power, and Super Power, and he just... So many good moves. Now, but we are not gonna go to the... <laughs> I, if you saw on the map, I actually kind of want to show you what we get out of battle here. Um, <laughs> we're pretty much just gonna go down this... L shape that is down here. Let me check. Trent Mar Mariel, who had a lot of Merrells. Well, I, I think she might have been the one. I hope she was the one that had the Merrells. Yeah, we're pretty much gonna go down this L shape here, and uh, there's a lot of trainers here. But um, not sure if I should, you know speed that up. I don't know. And there was also here, the on top of Route 13, there's like a clump of trainers. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna speed up and defeat all the trainers and then, you know, show you 
<laughs> if there was anything interesting that happened. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to take care of all the <laughs> quote-unquote boring stuff. I don't actually think it's too boring, but... Uh, <laughs> there's a part of me that I, I just get stressed out when there's a lot to do, so this episode in particular, I I think it's been pretty noticeable that I've been very scatterbrained and I've been very, like, like half-stressed, so uh, it's gonna be good to get this over with, and then, you know, focus on the linear stuff after this. So in the next part, we're gonna take care of all the side stuff and all the trainers, and then after that we're finally gonna get to Canalave. So... I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next time. Goodbye.